What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Deadball TV. We're going to be doing a recap of the World Cup Match Day 4. Super Bowl of football. Order. The Super Bowl of football, if it was a month-long event and just objectively way better. Um, none of us watched the Croatia-Morocco game, so all we're going to say about that is good point to Morocco. Kind of concerning for Croatia. Yep. Uh, we'll see what happens next. We'll see what happens we next. Maybe we were wrong about Morocco. Maybe they do win the group. Not like you don't want me to read off. Chance. You don't. You guys don't want me to read off any stats off my phone. No, you don't think that'll no be good cares. quality. Mm -mm. I don't think anybody here. wants to uh, listen to that. I think everyone in the U.S. was asleep, and this was a good one to sleep through. And I think they go the back West. to sleep if you start reading out those stats. So let's just all take right, it to the game that all of y'all should care about, and that was Japan getting the dub. The big dub, bro. 2-1 against the German national team. This this potential dark horse. A lot of people got him in the semis. Some people mm -hmm. got him even winning it. They might not even get out the group. That Japan going through prediction, Jake. It it's looks possible. really good right now. It's looking good right now. I've got, I it's mean, early. yeah. Them, them getting second in the group, I still feel pretty good about it. I definitely feel like uh, they can they can squeeze it by now. Because this was their big test, honestly. Um, or or I think, as we said, it was either Spain or Germany. They were going to lose one of those, but they're going to tie um, um, at least one of them. But yeah, big W against Germany. I mean, if you're Japanese right now, you got to be riding high, cloud nine. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. It was a great game, too. I don't... Did, did they beat a European team? In 2018? I don't think so, right? They I have no Columbia, idea. Tied Senegal, and I think they lost to a European team. But regardless, I mean, we don't see Asian teams beat European teams very often in the World Cup. They have objectively beaten the European team today. So, good on them. I mean, yeah. excellent. I, I was not up to watch that one either. My alarms did not wake me up. Uh, I, I don't even think I... You missed like, one. My slumber was disturbed, but um, I watched a ton of highlights and it was exciting. Um, this is I, I, I'm very upset that I missed this game. Um, it seemed really exciting, really fast paced. I mean, I, I, I literally woke up to 97 text messages between you two. Um, absolute mess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jake and I were going off in the group chat. Um, let's start with the let's start with the negatives, because this is Dead Ball TV. We like to be uh, pessimists about things. We Jake, what were some things that you saw um, in this game that concern you for Japan's uh, last two group stage matches? The first thing that comes out to my mind, and we sent multiple texts on it, were the Japanese de defending set pieces. A bit Terrifying. Of I mean, like, they could have easily conceded five to Rudiger single-handedly. Thank God yeah. none of the Germans can finish, though, with their head. Correct. Uh, I, I mean, it is such a size mismatch, mismatch. And I I think when they play Spain, it should be a little more even size-wise. But mm -hmm. the Germans, I mean, like, every player was had at least, like, six inches on the tallest Japanese guy. I think the tallest Japanese guy is Yoshida in the back. And he's like average yeah. height. He's like six, six foot, six one. Yeah, maybe him and Koei Takura are both like six one. Yeah. Maybe six one. Mm. So yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Um every time the Germans had a set piece, it was terrifying. My heart started racing. Oh, and I was clinching because I if I was Germany and I was Hansi Flick, I'd be like, guys, this is our chance to score against the Japanese. And against the Spanish. And definitely against the Costa Ricans. We're going to talk know, about like, them later. We, 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 we later. have to be dominant on our set pieces. And for Germany not to capitalize on that brings to question um, how how prepared they are for these other two games that they have in their in their schedule. Yeah. No, I think that's, that's definitely one area of concern for Japan. I, I thought that there was a – it was obvious that – that back line of Nagatomo, Sakai, Yoshida, and Itakura haven't played many minutes together. Because, dude, I don't know if you noticed, but there were so many times where, like, that back line was not in a straight line. Everybody was all over the place. They had no idea where they were supposed to be whenever first, Germany would play down the, the wing. The first half, 
before the managerial and the and the formation switch. I mean, I I thought that they were going to concede two, maybe even three. Yeah. Because it was yeah. getting scary back there, and then it was getting scary anything. back there. There is there is little to no transition from the back line to uh, the midfield, um, other than that one disappointing Maeda offsides. Yeah, in the first, time. he should have timed that better too. Like he had, there was no need to step offsides on that run, but he did. Beautiful pass from Junior Izzo. but no, I, I think I tweeted it out like Kamada. Kamada might have had five touches the first 45 minutes. Wow. Couldn't get the ball. It was it was bad. Yeah. And and we were we were um down in the dumps and we were calling for Moriyasu's head during the first half. But I we must were. say <laughs> somehow the motherfucker turned it around. Like <laughs> I, I I am so shocked that a, a manager can yeah. make that many good subs and formation changes. You know, maybe because uh, I'm biased and Connor, I want to hear your opinion on if there's any other manager that you can think of. I mean, I don't think, uh, you know, I think Argentina could have used with uh, some formation changes. USA could have certainly used with some better subs and stuff like that. I mean, I feel every manager so far that I've seen where a uh, upset has happened or a more disappointing tie has happened that, uh, you know, the manager got it wrong. And in this this case, I think, I think Mori also got it right, spot on, and he got the dub for it. I want to ask you, do you think that was intentional or he got lucky? Like, do you think that he really intended for Japan to just take that many body shots basically for 75 minutes? Half? Then he was like, okay, I'm going to change the game now. I'm, I'm going to activate my trap card. And then he made like four subs and the game completely changed. Do you think that was intentional? I would like to believe so. I mean, nothing – Nothing up to this point would tell me that that's actually the case, but yeah. let's just give it to the but but let's just give it to the team and the manager this time. Yeah, I mean he he masterclass the masterclass the Germans. To, yes, yeah, Moriyasu masterclass for sure. To to me, it looks like, or it looked from from the outside looking in, it looked like the guys galvanized around each other, like they they lifted each other up and i mean even in the highlights you can noticeably see the change in pace from the japanese like they just started uh clicking and i think they just found their chemistry there and they found their rhythm and uh eventually the highlights just start looking like a japanese onslaught yeah which which kind of makes me believe you know going back to the point of if that was moriyasu's plan or not i mean it looks like they were asleep in the first half and they were just kind of Mm -hmm. you know idling in first or second gear and if that was the case and you know they kicked it into overdrive and in, in the second i mean i don't know maybe it's becoming more and more plausible in my brain the more we talk about it mm. do, you, do you think for the second game do you think kubo should get the start again no say no. more say more because i probably agree but say more i think kubo I think he's a little too timid. You don't need timid boys. And and he was a boy on the field. He looked like a boy, especially compared to Musiala on the field. I mean, I think they're the same oh, age. Damn. And Musiala's yeah. a grown ass man when you compare him to Kubo. And I think Kubo is a good player. I think he can do good things for this national team side. I, I just did not see the qualities that he he should be um he should be showing you know on in the world cup yeah i think he's actually i want to say he's 20 right which means he's 2 years older than musiala but musiala if there's one good thing that the german should be walking away from this game that kid's a freak you you texted in the he chat is, you were like he's clear he's clear of gavi and petri he's a freak dude he is the japanese so cannot clear. stop him he is so <laughs> well, clear if the Spanish keep playing the Costa Ricans, they might be able to, uh, to camouflage the gap between them. Because let's, yeah. let's not talk about the Costa Ricans yet. But yeah, Musiala was an animal. What do you think went wrong for Germany in this game? Because like you said, at halftime, I was standing there in the living room, you know, arms crossed like this. And I was like, this looks like a 3-0 to me, German. Yeah. What do you, th what do you think happened? Where, where do you think they, they fumbled it? 
I would venture to say that uh, they just weren't prepared for any sort of counter press from the from the Japanese at all, like whatsoever. And I think uh, I think the back line and Neuer especially just thought that this was going to be a cakewalk and that they weren't going to be tested rarely ever. And that wasn't the case. Yeah. Yeah. Connor, as somebody who doesn't follow Asian football super closely, one to ten, when you woke up from your deep slumber, how surprised were you by this result? Probably an eight. Probably an eight. Okay. I did not have this upset picked. I mean, you can go back to the video. I really thought Germany was going to come out all guns blazing. But, um, I mean, to be completely honest, it's, it's, the Germany fumble here is very reminiscent of what happened with Argentina. I mean, it's the exact same score line um, and kind of similar performances if I'm picking up uh, what you guys are putting down, like if I'm going by the highlights a little bit too. Like the Germans had some really excellent uh, chances in the first. It, it sounds like they really commanded the game, that they were looking confident. You know, mm -hmm. you're prepped for a 3-0 because Argentina was set for the same thing. You know, we had, what, three goals disallowed by offsides, two major ones, Yeah. right? And I, I don't know. I don't know. Just switching against that. Maybe maybe the Germans, dude. Maybe they, you know, what once at a blue moon, they underestimated their opponent. And um, and yeah, the Japanese were running at full speed, operating at 110% when they scored these goals. And the Germans um, were idling at 80, 90. You know, they dropped off. And that 20% is enough for uh, these Japanese kids who are eager to prove themselves to both their manager, country, and the world to capitalize on that. I mean, we, we could talk tactics all we want all day, but uh, so much of this game uh, lies in the immaterial here, in mistakes made, in energy switches, in pace variations. And, I mean, the yeah. Japanese guys were running their fucking hearts out. Like, I, when I was watching the highlights, at the risk of sounding a little insensitive here, <laughs> it looked like a fucking anime. I could hear the fucking uh, the yeah. My Hero Academia music in the background when he comes flying in on the fucking right wing and slams that shit directly, you know, over Neuer's left shoulder. Neuer like looks up, like he was like, "Oh, oh my!" Yeah, God. he was like literally. Yeah, he, he looked like a villain who got like hit by the secret move, you know, that the main yes, character yeah. has that he hasn't busted out yet. Yeah. Oh One my God! Shot. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was going to flash to the manager and, you know, he had like the glasses flash while he's pushing it up over the bridge of his nose. Like, ah. <laughs> just just, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> on some fucking Death Note shit. Like, yeah. I don't know. It was just, yeah, it was man. awesome. It was excellent. And it got me hype. That was probably, that was probably the most hype I've been watching any sort of highlights. Everything else is just like, okay, you know, I'm going to watch this so that I have something to talk about here if I miss the game or I'm just going to catch up. But that was exciting. You could really feel the energy and the pace of the game there. And I mean, the photos that we're seeing of these fucking Japanese fans screaming their hearts out. I think Shion was actually next to a Japanese woman in the stands today, and she gave him a headband. Shion probably lost his mind at that game. Probably lost Japanese his Japanese are so mind, nice, dude. dude. I'm, gl I'm glad you said that, dude, because I have to admit, and maybe this is this is indicative of the, the state of the Mexican national team, I was more pumped... For this game than I was for Mexico Poland, without yeah. a doubt. And on and, and when Japan scored that goal, I was so hyped. That's the most hype I've been during the World Cup. Like uh, Memo so chose penalty save. I, I was jumping up and down, but Mexico didn't give me anything to get up about. But yeah. how Japan battled back against European heavyweights, you know, a favorite to win this World Cup. I I mean it. Like I said, it just it, my heart was pounding. I was invested. I was shouting at the TV, even though it was eight o'clock in the morning. My freaking parents are asleep upstairs. The dogs barking at me because she does. She thinks I'm like yelling at an intruder or something. I was fully into it. I'm texting my Japanese friends in Tokyo, like I fucking told y'all you were gonna beat the Germans, like all this stuff. Like it was just a, it was my favorite game in the World Cup so far, hands down. Not even close. Yeah. I, I think it would have been mine as well, and I'm really kicking myself. I'm excited <laughs> to watch the uh, the replay. Yeah, yeah, no, it was a good replays. one. I watched Saudi Arabia Argentina last night, mm -hmm. and I have to say, I think a fundamental difference. No disrespect to the Saudi Arabians, I think there was definitely some luck involved in them beating Argentina. I 
Jake, jump in, please. Say, say I'm a dumbass. I don't really think the Japanese got lucky per se. Like, yeah, they were letting the Germans have the ball, but it wasn't like they scored, you know, a goal and they got called back or the Germans were just hitting the post over and over again. It was like kind of controlled chaos yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I'd say the only luck that that occurred in the in that match was uh, when Gonda decided to rugby tackle. Uh, who was that? It was uh, Rom. Yeah. How do you pronounce it? R A U M. I think it's Rom. Yeah, Rom. Or Rome. I don't know which one it is, but yeah. 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 I mean, th that was the only luck. It's just like, dude, what are you doing? So you're what? saying bad luck. That was bad luck because he took it. That out. was bad luck on the Japanese, good luck for the Germans. Oh, but re regardless, mm, okay. that, that was the only stench of luck, you know, in that game, I would say. Everything else, I mean, um, you know, Japan's first goal was a great team goal. And their their second goal by Asano was just the sheer moment of individual brilliance. Yeah. You know, I mean, he 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 literally scored it on his own. Like there was nothing. I think he I love that shrug goal. shrugged off Schlotterbeck. Took your boy uh, on one on one. And and as we were saying, tape. you know, he sliced Put your and diced guy on the mixtape, bro. Who's my guy? My guy? Sh Schlotterbeck. Schlotterbeck. You've been gassing this man up since we started the channel. That's that's not true at all. I think You're I mentioned him once goat. once or twice. Schlotterbeck simp. I literally I think the only thing he said about him is that he likes his name. <laughs> no, I think you put him. I am a little weapon. confused. Well, yeah, he's a good player. I am a little confused though as to why Shule played on the right right back instead of his normal yeah. center back position and moved Schlotterbeck over to the right. Because you have yeah, your your okay. biggest guy as a fullback. Interesting. It's kind, of, it's kind of a strange. I mean, maybe he just wasn't worried about it because the height difference is already there. Like, how yeah. much more height do you need in, in, at the center Shit. back? Position? I mean, I'd be worried about it now. Oh yeah. If I was Flick, I'd be like, okay, this this was maybe a little too uh, they got too over conceded next. on my part. They do got Spain next, huh? I believe they have Spain next. Let me just confirm this real quick. They got Spain next, dude. They could be done. They could be done by by the second game. Time to bring oh. back uh, Joachim Lua. Get him back. That in would here. that would be a huge, 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 huge upset for the Germans. Shit, I'm not even sure how how they would come back from that. That would destroy their reputation. That would be yeah. That'd be another four years. I, I I'm pretty sure we would see a really dominant Germany in the Euros. And Flick would go oh. back to fucking Bayern. He'd have to take like a year sabbatical just to recoup. I think we would see a bunch of retirements if, if Germany bounced out this World Cup uh, in the groups. Oh, Muller, Muller retired from the national team if they get bounced. Oh, well, he's already regardless, like, like him and Neuer. But I'm saying like people that shouldn't even be retiring are going to retire. Rudiger. <laughs> He's sitting maybe, down. Musi maybe. Musiala retires. He's like, I, Musiala's I like, he's like, like, this actually, is your sixth cap. <laughs> no, he calls up Southgate. He's like, yo, is there still a spot on the team? Yeah. Southgate's One like, time switch. He says, uh, I'm going to play James Madison. So, sorry. Hey, we'll put some respect on James Madison. He's been, he been going off, but yeah. no, if, if the Germans don't make it out, then Otto von Bismarck <laughs> will be rolling in his grave without a doubt. Let us know if any of you understand that fucking reference. <laughs> if you know who that is, I'll bet you five bucks. No, on some no going stupid on stupid geopolitical. You, you humor need to know who that is. He's important. You should know who Otto von Bismarck is. The pride of the Prussian Empire. Anyways, that was a history <laughs> joke. Um, <laughs> probably yeah. no one knows who the fuck. There's one German guy watching this, like, how the fuck does he know who Otto von Bismarck right. is? Why um, are they talking anyways. about Otto here? <laughs> My great uncle. No, um, <laughs> no. I I think this was a great result, and I think we should talk very briefly before we move on to the next game about the fact that Asano was the one who scored the goal. Because I just need to set to put this on wax. Japanese fans were very angry when this man was selected. It was a, it was like, oh, where's Furuhashi? Everybody was saying they should have taken the Celtic guy over Asano because of his injuries. Doesn't have that many goals for the national team. 
I mean, Jake, can you look this up? I think it was his eighth one. Yeah, this all was time. His eighth it's goal. Yeah. It was his eighth goal. Okay, so he hasn't scored that many goals. And it, even you and me, when when he got subbed in, I was like, Asano. I'm like, okay. So I looked it up. He actually Wenger signed him whenever he was still at Arsenal in his last couple of years, and I think he kind of bounced around their youth system for a little bit. Okay, I'm not sure actually what club he plays for now. The I think he last played for Bochum, Bochum v, VFL, yeah, Bochum or something in, in the Bundesliga. Yep. Yeah, and like he's not been that good at, at club level. I want to say he had three goals last season, and two of those came in a brace on the last day. So really, he had wow. like one goal in 34 games. Like he wow. is not a, prof- a prolific goal scorer, and this is a big problem for Japan is they don't have a true nine on the team, and uh, for him. To no doubt know that that's the narrative around him. To know that the entire country of Japan is like, why are you on the roster? You bum. You're absolutely washed. And he puts the goddamn team on his back? Proved the haters Jake's wrong. boy Schlotterbeck dripped all over him? <laughs> shrugs him off? Scores past the GOAT Neuer on his near post? Yeah. I mean, that, that's got to be top three goals in Japanese history. The degree of difficulty, the opponent, the occasion, the magnitude, the pressure. Everything. Nah, that might be that, that, between put that in the JFA Museum. So that so that goal and the one uh from uh Saudi Arabia, the second Saudi Arabian goal. Oh my um, god. Those those are my two goals of the tournament right now. Those were I mean, I, I could watch those over and over again. It's like poetry in motion. It's that fucking mm. Pavard goal when he won goal of the tournament against Argentina in 2018. Ooh, mm-hmm. that was a banger. Fucking banger, dude. It's a banger. That's such Unreal. a good game. We're, real quick, given that ooh, I believe um, South Korea is the last Asian team left, right? To not, pl- not have played? Yep. You think Japan and Saudi Arabia have changed the narrative a bit because it in the beginning, it was Asia is trash. Why are they even here? Everybody was talking about, like, this is what happens when you have a 32-team World Cup. And then Saudi Arabia and Japan come out with these dubs. Yeah, and we this see is, other teams like from other federations getting absolutely spanked. This Ass over weird. knee. Um, but yes, the Echo Connor, it's huge. Huge. It's a big dub, bro. It's a big dub. I I really we need to we need to find out how many wins Japan has over European teams in the World Cup. It cannot be that many. And what an achievement. What an achievement. I'm literally like I'm so happy about that game. I just keep I'm like you're but you're but off of both of your faces right now, I can tell the shock and just pure ecstasy that you must be feeling. Well, not only is it nice to see a team that you support win, it is also nice to um, see all the fucking haters that are like, oh, yeah, the Japanese fourth in the group easily. Yeah. 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 yeah but- it is when nice. The guys are like, These Japanese guys have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah. And... I love it when people in our comments, especially, they're like, these guys have literally no idea what are they talking Like, why are they Japanese yeah. fans? And then yeah. uh, huge upset from them. But Huge upset. Yeah. Let's, let, let's talk about the other, um, the other game from the group. Spain put in the absolute beatdown. I mean, it was honestly embarrassing. The ref should have called it in the 60th minute. Against Costa Rica, like what? what what's the instant takeaway, Connor, from this game? Instant takeaway, dominance. If you want a one-word takeaway, dominance. I mean, it, it all points to that. Uh, I, I we don't like stats here too much, but I I heard somebody said they had almost a thousand completed passes. I think nine hundred thirty or something is what I saw. What the fuck is that? What the uh, fuck is that? And this this is us eating our words, saying, you know, this is uh, granted it's against a, a pretty shambolic Costa Rica, a pretty weak Costa Rica. Um, but a, seven goals against Kaylor Navas, that is that is unreal from a team that we said couldn't score. Like, I guarantee our, it's never our, happened before. Our top I scorers never conceded the, seven. Yeah, fair. Our top scorer of the group predictions, shattered. Shattered. 
Who did we say? Not Spain. No, I Spain. had Gundu. I had Gundu one, and for the record, I, I, I think I'm I correct. Said he scored. He scored the goddamn penalty. You, you just said never. I think I, I said Kamada. I, shit. I can't even remember. I can't yeah, even. Remember. We just, were like those Spanish boys. No. Nah. No. Nah. None of them can score. None of them. And score. then, <laughs> in the Morata showed turn. showed our video in the locker room, and he's like, "Yeah." Let's 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 show these boys up right now. They took turns, dude. I mean, it looked like something I've seen on the hub before. It was bad. Oh, it was really <laughs> bad. No, nah, it was bad. It was yeah. worse than some stuff on the hub. Let's yeah. be let's be it was honest about that. It was yeah. bad. That's that's been easily the worst game that and and I'm not even gonna say I watched it. I watched probably 30 minutes of it in the first half when they were already up three nil, I think, and I was all like, this has got double digits all over it you know this is worse than the qatar ecuador game by far worse than england iran you know at least oh, i yeah. uh like like, a, like at least iran scored two goals and they had some some attacking output they had life they had life costa, costa rica, rica I, I and and you summed it up in one word uh which is domination my one word is disrespect disrespect to costa rica disrespect to Keylor Navas his whole team let that man down he's a legend for the country and I mean I was going to say he was a legend for his club too I don't know if I want to go on a limb and say that but a great player and they disrespected his ass they they've been humiliated completely if I was him if I if if I was him I would honestly consider Saying like, you know what, guys, I'm gonna sit out the next one. <laughs> like maybe it's time for one of the young bucks to take up the reins here. He ain't gonna. I can't I mean, keep doing that. But that, but no, that I, did. To your point, though, it felt like a long game. That man, I mean, that had to have been so exhausting. Like they were still scoring goals. I mean, they scored goals in like extra time. I know. He's doing back heels and shit. I was watching. I was like, oh my god, stop hitting him. He's already dead. Like it was. They, they're all. There was so much going on there. Like, I couldn't it, even it imagine. Disrespect. Yeah, in the 45th That's minute, the, I would be like, I want to go home. I want to go home, dude. I'm I not even sure this. disrespect is enough. I, I would really say it was neo-colonization. That would be my <laughs> one word. They literally reconquered the country. They got nobody the Spanish, Spanish out. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. The Spanish did conquer Costa Rica, didn't they? Holy they did. Shit. Probably with 50 men, if history serves me correct. But uh, today they did it with 11. And it was an absolute spanking. I mean, I, I was going to tweet it out. I was going to be like, CONCACAF in the mud. But I was like, no, 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 no. Let's give the Canadians a chance to put, to put some some respect on this goddamn federation. And they, they also dropped the ball. We'll talk about them next. It's the next game. But... Um, uh, you know, North America, Central America, they're not looking so tough right now. They're looking, they're looking pretty bad. Um, none of the big boys. We don't have a win, bro. We, we don't have a win. win. We have one goal. We have one goal in four games from four teams. Arguably in the easiest match. Out well, of all of them. Mex- it's Mexico's easiest match. U.S.'s easiest match. Probably Costa Rica's hardest match. I'll give them that. And then the way that Belgium are set up. Should have been decent for Canada, and they bossed the game for large periods of time. But this is why we can't keep playing Honduras and Guatemala to get ready for the World Cup because obviously we're not ready. Nobody's let's, ready. As let's, a let's move on. Let's let's talk about okay. Canada. We're we're ready for that. We're ready for anything else about Spain, Costa Rica. There's nothing. Caleb Navas should retire. He yeah. should retire. It's time. It's time. I just got to shave his head. <laughs> yeah. You, you can't keep dying he, he your hair after it. this. Shit. Yeah, he, yeah, no. He needs to set the next two games out. Dude, he's carrying his team by himself. And, like, it, it's just eventually the match is going to run out. And it's ran out. J- Jewis and Bennett, their fucking 18 or 19-year-old winger, was the only player who looked like he was going to do a damn thing against Spain. Even Joel Campbell, the great Costa Rican, you know, legend, absolutely. Did nothing. The, the, they made silence. I lit, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up the, I'm gonna get out the ancient papyrus scrolls after we're done recording, and I'm gonna look at the last time Costa Rica conceded seven. Costa Rica are a defensive juggernaut. I hate when Mexico plays Costa Rica because I'm like, 
if we win, it's going to be one nail off a penalty because these guys don't give up goals in Spain without a nine score seven. Yeah. Like uncharacteristic, similar to Iran, just very uncharacteristic of, of Los Ticos who are typically so annoying to play. You know, they're like the Central American Tunisia. They just hunkered down, super well organized. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. The Tunisians held the Danes, but the Costa Ricans got opened up like a clam, dude. Yeah, they Not they were bacon. they were exposed. Is there any over and back over again for Costa Rica? No, no, Bad I don't chance. think so. I don't no point. So. No zero. You think they get zero points for the next I two think after they this? Get zero points. Yeah, I I don't even think they score a goal based off of what I saw offensively today. No. They need to for decide sure. if they want to play for pride and honor in their country or if uh, they just want to start all the young lads, all the guys that have not a lot of caps to their name. Just to I think that's some great. experience on this. I think that would be great at this point. I mean, my faith in that it is it is time to burn it down. Fuck it. Let's get these young lads some experience so that when the next one rolls around, you can be like, I've been there before. Yeah. Is it weird to admit I'm still weirdly worried for that Japan game? Like, I just hope Japan doesn't take them for granted, I guess. Yeah. No, that's that's not weird at all. That's totally valid. There's no chances in shame. the World Cup, as we've seen so far. You know, there's there's nothing that, that uh, would lead us to believe that you can, you know, take an easy dub from an easy game. That, that you consider easy. That didn't make any sense. But y'all know what I'm saying. I know, <laughs> I what, you're saying. I know what you're saying. <laughs> you're basically saying there's no, like, there's no games you can walk through. There is no yeah. easy game. Yeah. 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 I think I think the results have thus far proved that. Um, okay. No, that's fair. Um, should we say anything else about the Spanish, perhaps? No. No, no, no. We'll just move on to Canada. It's time. All right. What you, what you got to say about Canada, Connor? I uh, tell you I th- eager. Uh, yeah, yeah. I am. I am eager. I thought. I thought you were writing them off a little bit just because they didn't get a result today. I mean, doesn't mean that they weren't dominant. That was scary. I was watching that the whole time, the whole game. I mean, I went to the store. I had my fucking phone pulled up like this, <laughs> watching it the entire time, bumping into people. They were getting pissed. Damn, you're about to walk onto the subway rails. No, I walked the whole time, the whole way. I was like, I ain't missing any of this game. I'm I'm watching this. So I fucking had a 20-minute walk to Whole Foods instead of the six-minute subway ride um, just to watch this game. And the entire time, you want to know what my takeaway was? My thought was, I wish the United States could play like this. I wish that we could play like that. It was excellent. Alfonso Davies is everything that I want Christian Pulisic to be. That I wanted him to be <laughs> like, he's not, I mean, That's they, funny. they're not doing like messy dribbling, you know, through people, but like just the ball control there, the involvement in the game, it looked like he was making a difference. You know what I'm saying? He broke those dudes ankles. Like he broke the, Oh my God, bro. Mm, who was that? His turns right? are elite. Yeah. Nice. His, his step over. Oh my God, dude. Disgusting, it, dude. You know, you know why Pulisic can't do that? Because Pulisic is not world class. We do Ooh. not have a world class player. We said yeah. that. Jesus Christ, must have been six months ago. And yep. some people, re- a lot of people, I'll give them credit, they agreed. But a lot of people said, Nah, he might be that. He's not. He's not. He's he's not Alfonso Davies. He's not Jonathan David, who I thought had a quiet game, but still. We don't, we just Jonathan, don't have Jonathan David like had that. his opportunities, but I think the Belgian game plan was to just suffocate him. They were like, if we if we cut the head off the snake here, yeah, we're we're gonna you be know all right. It was weird to me that Jonathan what? David did not take the penalty. I think Who? they wanted Davies to get his ego up. I get I get that, and if you're Canadian, you're watching. Let us know who usually takes y'all's penalty. Yeah, 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 it yeah. has been Davies the whole time, but Jonathan David has been on fire. Respect to Davies, but he's been injured. His minutes have been severely limited. I feel like you give it to who who been the man lately, which would mm-hmm. have been Jonathan David. When I saw uh, uh, Davies stepped up to take it, I was like, they must have got their last names mixed up because I would not be having this guy take the kick right now. 
And Courtois, mm. bro, probably the best keeper at penalty saves. One on one. Yeah. Six six. Huge dude. I, I don't know if that's a mistake. I wonder who chose that, like the players or or Herdman. I, I think I it, usually it's something that the players decide between themselves. Uh, mm -hmm. That being said, Canadians, let us know. Let us know if this is part of a game plan or or because I know y'all gonna be in the comments. I know y'all gonna be in the comments. Get in the comments. Y'all been too quiet. Entirely too quiet lately. I was rooting yeah, for they, you today. Just so you was. know. I, I'm I Kevin De Bruyne Stan over here. I love Belgium. I wanted them to win the the World Cup in 2018 after uh, after Argentina crashed out. But uh, th this year, this year, this game, I was rooting for Canada. Yeah, just so you know that. I will say I love the way Canada play. You know, to I your loved point, it. Connor. To God, your point, they were, Connor. They were dogs. I love their style. They've really got something going for them right now. Um, even though really I love to shit on here, them, even though I love to shit on them, it's and I, I still kind of think that they're not going to score a goal and they're going to get zero points. But I enjoyed what I saw, and yeah, you know, I, I, I also echo your sentiment that I, I fucking wish the U.S. played like that yeah. because we're we're very similar, you know, and we arguably have better players on paper, but we play that better physical type, yeah. Yeah, but not more depth, practice. You name it. We just have a worse manager. That's the only thing on paper that's different. No, I I know. I think the Canadians linked up. They they did whatever fucking work, whatever group therapy, fishing trip that they had to do which to I get think, their locker room in order. Yeah, which which I think that goes to uh, you know, they they do mesh well as a as a team, but they also know the system that they're playing in. And they And her, they play Herdman's, to it. dude, he's a field commander. I, mean, I I completely agree with you guys. Whenever the camera goes to him, he's just exuding energy. Yeah, like it looks like a dude. It's like I would play for that guy. When I would I play Greg for Walter, that motherfucker. When I see Tato Martino, I'm not like sign me up for that team. I'm like I never want to be on that roster in my life. Right. Well, what's the Canadian manager's name again? What did What did you just say? John Herdman. John Herdman. Herd Herdman. I must thought Herbert, and I was like, I'm smoking crack. Herdman. Herdman is. Nobody's going to understand, like, Texas high school theater. But, like, to think about this, like, if you're going to go out and, like, play for well, I'd hope not. This is more coach, niche than my like, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> no, it really is. And I'm, I'm not going to go there. But that, that's the thing I was drawing. But, like, imagine, like, your teachers, right? Uh, you know, Burhalter's like, the, the one who, like, yeah, you can come and sit at my desk. And, like, oh, yeah, cool. You hang out with him, right? And maybe he has good like one-on-one -on -one skills, but he does not command the classroom. He does not garner respect from yeah. uh, the entirety mm -hmm. of of the guys. Herdman, one hundred percent. He walks in, you're like, awesome, dope, cool. And then you get like three, four days a year, you know, before like you get like summer vacation, or you see him in the hallway once a year. You catch him on a good day, right before you go on like Thanksgiving break or something. He's really cool that day. Friday, he's like, all right. No homework. Enjoy your break. Hope you have a good time. We're gonna watch a movie or like mm -hmm, get your phones yeah. out. Let's fuck around. Like what once or twice a year, but that he garners more respect. Like you said, field commander ass. I want to play for this man. Mm -hmm. Vibes. Yeah. That is what you need. That is the head that you need. I don't know. It was it no, was, no, it was and really I think, wonderful. I think that's why you see the Canadians have a higher belief in morale. Than the other CONCACAF teams. Yeah. It is very obvious. And in the first half, I mean, guys, if they put that penalty away, who knows what happens after that? We should talk about Belgium next. They looked vulnerable, to say the least. Um, that's putting it, it lightly. It could, it, it, that's putting it lightly. It could have been it could have been two, three Canada goals by full time if Davies puts that penalty away. Yeah. Um, and also the Kyle Aaron, had been in their favor, he had a couple yeah. headers. He. he should have done better. Yeah, they, well, they, okay. they had some pretty poor finishing. Oh, credit to Courtois, though. He had a couple. Oh, yes. Uh, just and, incredible and he had some saves. world saves. Worldly saves. That that At one header yeah. that came and he, like, jumped to the, to the top right of the box. Stud. And granted, the header wasn't, like, incredible. It didn't go to the corner or anything, but he was still at full extension. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. that was really nice. He, he Courtois yeah. had himself a game, and to be completely honest, he was one of the only shining spots in the defense. Um, the rest of the defense 
um, looked like they had to body the Canadians to stop them. Like anytime they'd get into the box, like right outside of the 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 top right of the Belgian box, there was oh, fuck, I can't remember the Belgian defender's name. It wasn't it wasn't Vertonghen. Den Donker. Den Donker. He was like jumping. He was jumping and like uh uh like putting his whole body weight on top of the Canadian wingers. It was brutal. I was like, this is the way that you have to control Canada. Don't you play like in Europe consistently? Like it just looks sloppy. The problem like is said. all those guys are like 34, 35. Their best get... years are passed behind them. Does doesn't Way matter. You past. you should be able to poke your toe in then. You should have the finesse at that point. You're right. This this golden Belgian generation should have should, and they were the favorites to win this game, and they eked out a victory. Barely. They got holes all over the pitch. I mean, it's like you said, Connor. When you have an old defense like that, what I expect is immaculate positioning and intelligence, yeah. and they didn't show either of that. And Alderville's my boy. I love that, man. I love Jan Vertonghen. There's a reason Tottenham got rid of those guys. You know, as much as it hurt my heart, they're not like that anymore. And the way they were getting out-jumped, that would, like, is unforgivable. Kyle Lahren yeah. was winning more than 50% of his headers. He just couldn't put them on target. But yeah. this is a giant problem for Belgium going forward. They're going to play against a better team with better finishers, and they're going to be in trouble. Courtois is going to get beat eventually. And when that happens, I don't know if Belgium can come back and win. Because on the counter, Canada looked like they'd rip them to shreds. That's Bet what I'm saying. They scored that first goal. They run them up, bro. They run it Bet, up. Bet, Bet Shuai's first touch looked like Lukaku today. The man was bringing balls Old down Lukaku. with his shin. <laughs> Yeah. The one he that went out 20 yards. Ass. Embarrassing. 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 Embarrassing, dude. And he looked pissed when he got off the field. And I was like, you know what? Good. Go home. Work on yourself. Work on that shit because brutal. <sighs> brutal. That's the option up top? Mm -mm. No. No, no. Yeah. No. It's, dude, like, no. I think we were – some. I think one of y'all said, like, De Bruyne was looking annoyed or something. Or maybe you guys said it in the preview, he was fucking pissed at his teammates. And Entire I game. completely understand why. But it's completely uh, uh, justified. Belgium yeah, are a mess, dude. They, Kevin was bringing in I some mean, beautiful crosses, beautiful corners. Nothing. They, Nothing. He did put in good service. I, don't, I wouldn't go as far as to say that they were Man City quality. No, 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 no. That's fair. But I think, and I think we've talked about it before, the Kevin De Bruyne that plays for Belgium is a lot different than the one that plays for Man City because mm -hmm. of the talent around him, obviously. And I think he, I think he plays kind of nervous for Belgium. Like, like I feel he plays very no pressure at Man City. Yeah. But for okay. Belgium, I, I think whenever he puts on his nation's jersey, I think he feels that he's got to do a little more and carry the team a little more. And I think he's more susceptible to losing the ball. I mean, he lost the ball a good amount of times today. And, mm -hmm. I, I mean, it wasn't the perfect De Bruyne as as I have seen him in the Premier League. It's because he's, he's got Axel Witzel next to him. <laughs> yeah, the most <laughs> – oh, he's so washed. I, I, I mean, there – when I think of this Belgium team, and especially after watching this Canada game, that's the one word that comes to my mind. Washed. All these washed players. You know, they were once very good four years ago in 2018. But now it's like, oh, my God. Like, all very technically gifted. But past that, like, I don't think they give a fuck. And they no. can't they can't string together anything, really. Like, like, unless it comes from De Bruyne. Yeah. They remind me of, like, England during, like, an off year where you're looking at the roster and you're like, wait, this guy's still in the team? This should be incredible. Yeah. yeah. And no. Like, look, guys, I'm looking at this lineup. N no disrespect. The back line is weak, dude. Weak. Castagne, average fullback in the Prem. Witzel. I mean, dude, he'd been trash for it. Let's it go. I, I see his club form is carrying over. Eden Hazard never had never been the same. Batshuayi got shipped out to Turkey. Garasco's a dribble merchant, like I said. Trossard came on, did absolutely 
nothing. Yeah. He did nothing but ball. sulk. Yeah. And, yeah. Like <laughs> there was one pass where he's so busy soaking that he doesn't see that I I want to say it was Vertonghen has already won the ball back and is passing it to him. And he's literally like got his head down like that. <laughs> and then the that. Canadian <laughs> center back recovers the ball. Yeah. And like I, you just see Vertonghen go like this, like shouting at him, pointing at his head. Like, the, bro, this team this is bad. It, this is like the worst good team at the World Cup. Yes. The so worst weird. best team at the World Cup. Yeah. Yes. And it, let's can we talk about Eden Hazard really quick? Because I've been wanting to talk some shit about this man. He looked let's, let's go. so exhausted when he got off. Like when they subbed him off, like I mean, he looked like me after the first 45 of any given physical activity. Like he was breathing heavy, his eyes were wide, his face was ready. He's like, uh, and they were clapping for him. I don't I don't really think he had did anything to to write home about. Like, I mean. He, I will say, he was moving quickly. Um, he looked pretty confident, but um, it was nothing to really write. Houston home drivers, on. everybody, sorry about Houston that. Houston drivers, no, all good. It was, it was, it was kind of depressing. He needs to get out of there. He needs to. I always think he should lose some weight. It was just like Iguain on the downslope is what he feels like. But yeah. everything has gone right for him in his career. I have no idea why or what happened. It has to be apathy, right? Narcissism. Narcissism. I don't think. I don't think it's narcissism. I think he's just one of those guys that's a really good footballer, but doesn't live and breathe football. You know what I mean? And, and my evidence for that is: remember when uh, Real Madrid? It's like they lost to Chelsea. In the Champions League, I think it was two years ago, and everybody got mad at his art because immediately after the game, he walked up and started like laughing and like, taking up his pictures. Homies. Yeah, yeah, and everyone was like, oh, "You know, he'll never be a Galactico." All this, I mean, Madrid fans are insane, toxic people. But um, I saw that, and I was just like, "Okay, this guy kind of sees it as a job." Yeah, and and you know, fair play. Not not. I mean, Carlos Vela, the same thing. He's he's like, no, I like basketball more than I like football. I'm just you know five ten. So I don't play. Football's my job, but it's not yeah. my passion. I think that's the same with Hazard. And there's gonna be some footballers like that. You you can tell who lives and breathes this shit and who is like, I am naturally gifted and I will try. Yeah. But you know, I okay. I'll probably retire yeah. at age 34 and be cool with that type of thing. That's, I that's think my, he had I think he had passion for the game and some drive whenever he was still at Chelsea. And, and and whenever he got that big money move to Real, I think that's when he was all like, well, now what? Now what do I do? And I think yeah. in that first year when he realized that, like, you know, I actually might not like playing here in Madrid. And he signed that, what, was it a six-year deal? Five-year deal? Something like that. <laughs> like I don't like want something crazy. Five, yeah. yeah and, and I think he's got maybe one more year left. Maybe two. Maybe two, but no team's going to buy him. So he's just got to sit in the Madrid depths for a while until his contract runs up. I don't know. I mean, go back to Chelsea for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, and, and I mean, we we've seen that with with a couple of players that uh, that get their start in the, in the Premier League, and you know they become world superstars, and then they go over to a Real or a Barca, and they they lose all hope. Lose all passion, lose all drive. I mean, you name it. It's a, it's a big jump for them. And I think that's a problem to, to keep it on the World Cup for Belgium going forward because with Lukaku uncertain and didn't even play today against Canada, they need Eden Hazard minimum 85%, 90% ready to go if they're going to do anything. Because mm. honestly, it looks like the first team they play in the round 16, if they go up against... I want to say it would be whoever finishes uh, first or second in Japan's group. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's looking like know. a straight L. I, couldn't, I would need to look at it. Looking like a straight yeah. L right now. Um, so if I was a Belgian, I, I'd be very concerned. Um, I, I will also say, though, for the Canadians, they look like they can get caught out as well. Yes. Like that, the back line, it doesn't have Suspect. the pace. I could see against a better attacking force them conceding more than one. Correct. But I think they're I lucky that agree. 
the rest of the group doesn't really have somebody like that. I mean, I don't even yeah. know who Croatia's starting nine is. El Nesri will probably start for Morocco. He's decent. Yeah. But it might be enough to get them out of the group is what I'm saying. That would be exciting. That would be really exciting. I would be pleasantly surprised if they were the only CONCACAF team to make it out of the group. It ain't happening. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'd be, I'd be mad disappointed if they were the only one that made it out. I don't know. I, I'm I'm kind of back in these boys. It was it was it was really nice to see the way that they played. And man, uh, I'm gonna have to buy you a jersey. No, 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 no. Don't. I know you're talking way too friendly. If you've really switched your tune up, this is flirtatious, borderline. Maybe a little bit. I was looking at uh, El, what's his fucking name? El El Sa El Sa. He's a fucking Portuguese man playing for fucking Canada. El uh, El Sachio or something like that. Oh, is Stacchio? Is Stacchio, oh, yeah. No idea who you were yeah. talking about. Yeah. I thought you were trying to say the Saudi Arabian keeper's last name. I, yeah. I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> no, no, no. It was Sacchio. That fade is looking pretty good. I was making a flirty <laughs> joke. Anyway, um, no, no, no. Still very big rivals, but I just really liked the way they played. And I was like, I would much, I would be much prouder to be Canadian than I was uh, to be, you, you know, American, United States lad watching watching them in theirs so would you rather be canadian over argentinian right Fuck now no. after this couple what? Of games hell no are you kidding me argentina can smack me around as much as they want if we crash out in the group stage I'll they can use and abuse you yes and they have you don't you don't know this <laughs> like i'm a fucking simp it's bad are you kidding me? Oh, I bleed no. blue and white. Oh, it's no. terrible. I got mate. Bro, I'm oh, broke as shit. No. I don't got money to spend. I got mate coming in. I got mate coming in. It's going to be here. I think oh, I got one Jesus. kilo coming in uh, Friday. And then uh, the whole mate bombilla setup should be here Monday. So it's time. It's time. <sighs> Is it fair to say that Canada had the most impressive performance of the CONCACAF team so far. Yep. Yes. I think there were definitely spots where the United States was uh, uh, honorable and Mexico too, for that matter. I thought the Mexican wingers um, put on a pretty decent show, um, showed competence that I had never seen before. Um, but overall, on the whole, Canada. They certainly played like they wanted to win the most. God damn it, hit the nail right on the head. Well said. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Past, I agree with that any, past any, you know, USA scored one, therefore they are better than Canada. They, You know, Canada played like they really wanted to win, and they really yeah. wanted to prove something. U.S. Yeah. was going through the motions, you know, for a majority of the game. Mexico kind of going through the motions. Don't really know what to do. Oh, Mexico Don't really care 100%. for that matter. 100%. And... Uh, Costa Rica, I, I mean, shameful. Yes, that was shameful. You know, so to concede seven against a team that doesn't really have a goal scorer, it is shameful. Yeah, and it, it, I think it completely uh, goes against the DNA and fabric of what a Costa Rican national team is. And I'll, I'll follow that up by saying. I think Japan and Canada today both showed kind of that immaterial side of soccer that's really important for winning, which is the the morale, the like, why are we playing, so to speak? The spirit, you know, Japan, the chemistry, yeah. Exactly. Maybe they don't love Moriyasu, but I think, and this is probably speaking to like Japanese culture as a whole, it's always like, well, what needs to be done for the good of Japan? so to speak. It's a very like collective mindset that the nation has. Oh, yeah. And so honestly, they could they're probably like, fuck whoever the manager is. Like we got to put on for the people back home. And with Canada, they got a manager that they are ride or die with. And we're seeing that in how the teams are playing. And you kind of contrast that with the U S I think they played better than Mexico. hundred percent. I think Mexico were, were largely just boring, bland and out of ideas. Um, you know, I, I just think the U S they don't have that spiritual leader. If, if you want to say they don't have a manager like that, he just galvanizes them. 
And certainly not one in the locker room as well. Tim Reeves, the closest we got. Tyler Adams, maybe. And neither of those Tyler guys Adams. can be oh, the yeah. leaders because, I mean, Adams is, I feel, he seems like a soft-spoken guy, honestly. And Tim Ream can't really be a leader because the man hasn't fucking played at all. Yeah. Like, like, why would I take your word for it just because you're playing good for your club? Like, I haven't seen you around here before, bro. Yeah, fair. You know, you've never put on the right, the red, white, and blue with me. Well, whose fault is that? We, I think we know whose fault it is. And I think he could have been a good leader, but I, I don't think he is one right now. He didn't have the pen. Okay, let's do let's do some predictions for the next round of games. Um, so who does Canada have next? They are playing Croatia next Sunday. What, what are we feeling given what we've seen today? I I you know what I I'm, I'm going to kind of bow out of this one because I didn't see how Croatia played today. But if if I had to just give you an unwarranted shot in the dark here, what's fucking funny about that? Because <laughs> none of us are qualified. Because none yeah. of us watched the Croatia game. <laughs> That's true. All right. Well, you know what? Fuck that then. All right. Uh, I know a shit ton about football. I'm here for. It. I'm gonna even turn my mic up for this. I'm calling a uh, I'm calling a two to one Croatian victory. Actually, I you know what? Score I'm gonna I'm I'm call an audible on that. Okay. I'm riding that uh Eustachio. Eustachio. Mustachio. Yeah. Mustachio. <laughs> it's not pistachio, <laughs> it's Eustachio. <laughs> uh I'm riding that uh Canadia high. So uh let's go with one one. I'll go with the draw. I'll go with the draw there. I think Canada's going to be thirsting for a goal. It would be huge for them. That'd be big. I think it'd be massive. I'll say 3-1 Croatia. Damn. Bullish as always. I'll go 2-1 Croatia. I got to put Canadians my... get a goal. Croatians they get a goal for sure. sure. They get a goal. They, Canadians are scoring. And I would, and I do like to hear that uh, we all agree that they do score one, that they do finish. Which goes Even against my you, prediction. Was, yeah, I was about to say. Well, you said 3-1, okay. right? Or did you say 3 nothing? You, no, no, no. It's it, I said, said three one, but I've I've been saying that they're not going to score at all. Ah, well, that's all right. Your eyes have been opened a little bit, but I've not as much as Connor's. Score. But okay, they okay, still get so zero points though. They yeah, well, I don't know. They got Morocco. I stand by that. Last match. I stand day. by that. Yep. And Morocco had Belgium next. What are we thinking for that game? Are we going to be proven wrong and we're going to see this great Moroccan team get the dub over the Belgians? Dude, they look, Belgium looks weak, dude. They look Whoever, so weak. Wherever this great Moroccan team is that uh, everyone in the comments keeps saying that uh, we need to watch and we need to see, I haven't fucking seen them. You know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm kind of rooting for Morocco. Maybe it's not so much of a plus Canada thing as like a minus uh, Belgium sort of thing. I'm, I'm really gunning for their... Uh, our, our prediction that they're going to collapse. So, you know, I'll go with a Morocco zero to zero. Some fucking ugly, ugly ass game. That is not a good game. I I really do not care to tune into that. So maybe if a notification pops up and Morocco goes up one Oh, I'll tune in, but. Okay. I'm going to go one Oh Belgium. I think they get another insanely unconvincing Borderline lucky result against a hyper aggressive Morocco team. I'm gonna say Fair. one one. They tie. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, let's take it to a groupie. Got Japan and Costa Rica next up. What are we feeling for that? Japan's got to batten batten down the hatches. They've they've got to lock in and uh, and play like they're they're serious about this. They can't. They can't lose the same way that Germany lost today. Um, so I don't think Japan will do that. So I'm going to go with a uh, – I'll go with a 1-0. to zero. I'll go with a 1-0 to zero Japan. That's what I, what I was going to say. But to be different, I'll say 2-0 Japan. I don't think Costa Rica score. I don't think they do either. 
I'm going to go out on a limb and say 4-0 Japan. Woo! 4-0 Japan. Oh. But yeah. it, it is all dependent on what Moyasu tells the lads before the game. Does he say, we just need the dub and then we're going to park the bus? Or, 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 or we just need a goal and then we're going to park the bus? Or is he going to say, put the goddamn samurai sword to their throat the entire game? And He's going to pull out. Yeah. No, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, oh, no. And I was going to say it really depends on if the Costa Ricans want to play with honor or if they do something similar to what we were talking about, where they just roll over and die. J and Japan is the nation of honor. They're going to bust out the katana and the uh, the wakizashi, and they're going to make them watch the entire. Um, uh, what is that thing that you do on YouTube? The video game movies where they just show all the cutscenes. You're going to do that from the Ghost of Tsushima. I don't know if any of you have played that. <laughs> But oh I my god. Really want to, but I never yeah. have. You oh my god. Uh, let me just say when I finished that game, I was completely ready to um expatriate myself and move to Japan. Fully confident in it. Speaking two of the wrong languages, I was ready. Shit. No, we we keep this channel up, then we might get invited by the JFA to become their permanent sponsored podcast. For the we Japanese. can be the American ambassadors for the JFA. I would love it. If you get me into Japan, you'll never see me again. I'll be working on a rice patty somewhere. <laughs> we could potentially set up a friendly with Argentina and Japan if we become Ooh. official ambassadors. I don't know if I got the pull like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to make a few phone calls first. Would you we'll like to uh, scrimmage uh, against uh, Austin uh, FC, Japan National? <laughs> <laughs> Waste of their time. Yeah. I think Moriyasu is going to be, now that I'm saying it, he surprised me so much today. I really don't know. Because typical Moriyasu, I think, would be like overly pragmatic. Would be like score and then I'm putting in the B team and hoping nobody gets hurt. But I don't know if he's going to – I don't know if he's playing like, you know, 4D chess right now. Yeah. I don't think he's got it like that. I think we all know he doesn't have it like that. This is going to be on the boys, you know. This is going to be – Live or die by the uh, the chemistry and the ego of the lads, kind of like uh, Lionel Scaloni and the Scaloneta. He's not going to come up with some brilliant game plan. He's going to say, this is what's working for us. This is the chemistry that we have. Go out there. I'll make substitutions as necessary. And that's what Japan mm. has to do. Yeah. They've got to lock it down. They've got to play with each other, listen to each other, and talk. Yeah, This is, this is an energy thing at this point because... We all know that Moriyasu is not a tactical genius. He's not a tactician. He, I mean, I think the entire nation of Japan knows that. At least or from what been, I've gleaned. Or Feel he's been hustling the whole world for the past two years. Yeah, he this actually could be the long game. Yeah. Wow. They've got, they've got fucking L from Death Note as their coach. Yeah. Oh, my God. Moriyasu's not even the manager. They got some guy... Back in Japan on a super computer he, right he, now called like the puppet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I will go wow. out and even further say that uh Japan will score all four goals in the second half. Wow. What do you know? What do you Jake? What do you know? He called me up and told me. That's his game plan. Good fucking Lord. Are we gonna put money on this? Jesus. Shit, dude. If they score four, that'd be incredible. The only reason I think that they could is, one, because Kaylor Navas legitimately looks finished, and two, because Kamada, Ito, and Mitoma have not scored yet. They're hungry. And I, I they're the going to get one. Eat. They're going to get one. So is it coming against the Spanish, or is it coming against the Costa Ricans? Honestly, I don't know. Let's hope so, it comes against the Spanish. Me too. Okay, so speaking I'll, of the Spanish, yeah. they got the Germans Germany. next. Spain, Germany. Backs against the wall, what they do. I, I really don't know. I don't know now because I, I don't I don't know. I can't gauge the room temperature of uh, the German locker room right now. The Germans as a whole, like, do they have the backbone? Was this a major fumble? Are they going to come back? I really don't know. It's very unpredictable. I, I was coming saying they were this was not going to happen. They were going to be locked in. So are they going to utilize this wake up call? I have no idea because the Spanish are riding high. And they've shown that they can do it in the World Cup. They're ready and for it. And that's their fight. downfall. Yeah. 
the Spanish yeah. arrogance is not something that they should be lauding. But I don't know. They came up. Spain, Portugal last year was one of the games of the tournament. Or not last year. In 2018, I mean. 3-2 Spain. It was a different team. I'm going to say 2-1 Germany. Okay. Why? Why do you think that? Because he's filthy Bavarian swine. That's why. Because I hate the Spanish. I think they're arrogant. <laughs> you do hate the Spanish. I do. I didn't I know that. I hate the Spanish. I think they're Spain's arrogant. a beautiful place. And I just don't think they got it in them. Not to win against what Germany. What the fuck you mean they got it in them? Not to win against Germany. They can they can shoot fish in a barrel against Costa Rica all day long when you know the the opponent can barely fight back. Damn. You think the Germans put up seven against Costa Rica? They would put up three because they're respectful and disciplined. The Spanish, wild, conceded. The Spanish have fun. And if the Germans were that controlled, they wouldn't have succumbed to the 15-minute reverse blitzkrieg from the Japanese today. I think they're going to play pissed. I think Hansi Flick is going to tell them, I better see three goals or all y'all asses are walking back to Germany. No Lufthansa flight for y'all. It looks like, you know that scene in Inglorious Bastards when uh, it switches to Hitler and he's like slamming the table and he's like, nine, 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 nine. Yeah. Baden Juden? Baden Juden? Yeah, that's it. That's that's what the locker room's looking like right now. That's what Flick did after the game? That's what he did. He pulled he definitely out, like, slapped every single player in the face in the locker room. One hundred percent. As they mm-hmm. came in, he probably mm-hmm. punched Neuer in the nose. I would say. And that's just part of doing business as a German football. That's just part of the. Job. Maybe he starts Ter Stegen next next game. What a ballsy decision that would be! What a statement! Holy shit! Yo. And Neuer's sitting in the corner with a black eye. Oh my god, that would be insane. Like a broken leg. Yeah. We're like. <laughs> the commentators are like, how did this happen? If he um, breaks his leg, they're going to put him down out back like a fucking racehorse. That would be Dude. so controversial. I think that would have a huge negative impact on the team. I don't I think so, do. too. If they if they lose, then yeah, the entire country would turn against Hansi Flick. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to go. I, I, I like what you said, Jack. I'm going to go 3-2 Spain. 3-2 Spain. Damn. So I'm thinking 3-2 because I think Germany is going to come out being like, we have to win. And I think Spain, despite not having really good nines, if any nines on the team besides Morata, are going to be able to take advantage just like Japan did. Because Japan don't have a nine either. But I think Spain are going to have more chances to score than Japan did because they're going to hit them on the counter. And I I said this in the prediction, like, Sula, Sule, Sula. Shula. 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 He's too slow. He is slow. He's too slow, and he's going to get beat. And the beat. Spanish are quick. The Spanish are quick. When you've got a big physical presence like that, the little guys are going to be able to slip and weave mm-hmm. in and out. And their best mm-hmm. defender, in my opinion, in Rudiger, is not going to be able to uh, control anybody because they don't have a nine. They don't have a nine. Right. They're going to be playing up the left and right. right. I don't know. I, I see the Spanish tiki taka breaking through here. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even think. I thought Kimmich had a pretty poor game today as well, playing at that like holding mid position. The German, the German midfield was a little quiet. I, I said Gundogan leaving and 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 Musiala, but but whenever Gundogan got got subbed off, I think uh, there's a big drop off there. Wow, it's it's almost like I fucking said this. It's almost like I fucking called this. Jesus hey, Christ. I'm, hey, just I'm because I hate the man, I will admit sometimes when, when he plays well. I, uh, look, Why I, you hate I, just, I just... Man City. You're German. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. It's it's club ties over, uh, over nation sometimes. He's not Bavarian. He's therefore, Jake does not rate him. Okay. Jake's a, hear me a out. secessionist. Yeah. Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. What did I say a while back? I had Gunawan picked over Kimmich, right? Yes, you did. What am I? Am I? Was that pretty accurate? Was who who had a better game today? They both need to play. 
Oh, Gundogan had a better game today. They both need to play, though. I just needed to hear that. But Thank you. That's why I like I like Kimmich as a, as a fullback. Okay. I, I think he's a decent six, but I think he's very good at a fullback. And you know what's funny? Sorry, bro. I'm going to put you on blast. Albert was dragging Gundogan after this game. And I was I was a little confused by that because, like you said, Jake, he came off and then Germany collapsed and conceded too. I was like, I actually thought he was pretty decent. And Albert was mad because he, like, missed somebody. I think it was maybe Nabry. He was open on a run. Oh, but yeah. I was like, he, he does Albert, have a Albert's weird infatuation with Germany, doesn't he? Albert saw something like, that we Yeah, didn't. second favorite team. Really? Yeah. I knew I didn't like he, that much. He likes Germany and Korea. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, really, dog? You had a big Germany as your other team? Damn. I'm just playing. I, I like mean, you, let's... Albert. We are friends. Kind of. This has shaken the relationship, though. Going I forward hate... international policy, I'm going to be more aggressive. Here, Here's something I feel like we should end the episode with, or at least I want this to be one of my final statements. Dear uh, African viewers and Asian viewers, I, to be com completely crystal clear, I want your teams to beat the European teams every single time. I do not want Morocco to finish last. I want Morocco to honestly win the group. That would be sick. And just as a, as frosting on the cake, I picked y'all to win AFCON and y'all let me down. Okay? So don't say I hate you guys. Senegal, as long as you and Ecuador go through, I'm down. Let's do it. I'm cool with that. Ghana, Y'all were my favorite African team, my first love, Asamoah Jean, baby. If y'all go through, that'd be sick. I just don't see it happening. I want the Europeans to lose as often as possible. The only European teams that I like is Greece because I live there and they suck. They're in like <laughs> Nations League pot three Fair. and the Spanish. That's it. Every every other team should to they could lose every game. Picks. I don't give a damn. What you mean? Two howlers. My family came from Spain long ago. <laughs> Man, two howlers. That is... <laughs> I fucking hate that. I remember you say, yeah, bitch. That is, is not. Are you like that, baby? Uh, long anyway, ago. Nuts. That is fucking nuts. <laughs> The feast of the first men. Dude, that is nuts. Holy the first shit. time the Spanish conquered Costa Rica. Sorry, I shouldn't. I shouldn't make that joke, but I just had a one last dig at Los Ticos. Um, that has got to be. That has got to be the video title: Neocolonialism of Costa Rica. Spain reconquered. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There it is. We can do that. Yes, we can do that. But do do y'all agree about like the whole like we don't? Oh hate yeah. Or dislike Completely these African agree. teams or anything? Okay. Completely agree. If you think that we hate African and Asian teams, if you think that we hate the underdogs, you haven't been watching the channel. You're new here, and that's fine. That's fine. But welcome. Just welcome. Welcome. But that is that has not been the dialogue uh since as long as we've been around. I mean, Jack Jack has more African posters and uh Asian posters than I think he does anything else. I mean, les elephants. Correct. I Correct. still remember that it's dope in, ass in, ivory post. Ivory coast. It's in there. It's I in love closet. that bad boy. I gotta hang it up. I love that bad boy. And you best believe he's got that bitch framed. So, oh, it is framed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if if you if you think that you haven't been watching the channel, um, don't let these takes fool you. We're just being honest as to our predictions. I predicted a fucking uh, a two to one loss to uh, Saudi Arabia, however many weeks ago, for Argentina, and I fucking love Argentina. It's not because I'm all of a sudden uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia fanboy. <laughs> Because your ball knowledge is impeccable. I you Wait, know you're what? saying I'm you predicted Argentina was going to lose? I said two to one. Yes. I didn't even remember that. People in the comments were telling me about it. I predicted that they could. Is that yes. true, Jake? I don't remember him saying that. I thought he said I don't that uh, Argentina was going to lose one of these games. That's what I remember. Clearly. I, had, I had about three people tell me that I quite literally predicted the two to one. If anybody... It it's certainly Has possible. I mean, as soon as we hit the record button, my eyes just black out, and then I wake up right. like an hour and a half later, and I'm like, I don't remember any of what this. just happened. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Actually, uh, one of my one of my boys, shout out John Zoo, he texted me after the USA <laughs> game, and he he all he said was like, "You called it," and I was like, 
what the fuck are you on about? I was like, what did, yeah. I, what did I say? Like, and then he had to send me a clip from our episode <laughs> where I said that Gareth Bale was going to score off a set piece. And that's how they, they were going to score their only goal. And I was like, I have no memory of saying that whatsoever, but I'm glad that you sent this to me. Let I me didn't go know put John, it on my Twitter. I didn't know John watched the pod like that. Oh, he's going to watch the pod now because Japan won. You know, he's an Asian he's a fucking homie. He, you sent that fucking uh, that picture after you guys won. He texted you. He said, <laughs> we're Japanese now. <laughs> you were Japanese now. <laughs> yeah. no, John, John's ride or die uh, for, the, for the whole continent. So, I mean, that's, that's oh pretty God. sick. And shit, so am I. I mean, look at the, look at the jersey on my chest right now. Um, anything no, else you want to say before we head out? Samurai blue, baby. Looking good. Looked good. Looked pretty out on the field. Yeah. Very, I ain't got very nothing. nice to see that. I ain't got nothing else. Yeah. Go Serbia. Go Serbia, what baby. A game to, what a game go. tomorrow. Oh, my go God. Go Serbia, baby. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Somebody invited me out. My friends who don't watch this pod, thank God, they invited me out to the fucking Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And it took all the strength of my body to say there's nothing I would l- least, like, l- rather be doing less than watching the Thanksgiving Day Parade while that fucking game is on. Ain't no way in hell. I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to sleep in. I was like, I'm yeah. just really tired. Good call. Sleep. Yeah. Fuck Good no. Call. Hell no. I'd be out there like people be bumping into me and shit. I'd be pushing them off. No. Hell no. 